Hey guys, so today we're going to see a deck. Uh, it is Dan's deck. It's green white tokens versus it looks like black green aristocrats. So Dromoko's command comes down. We got our inspector. Pretty good. The inspector is a lot better than I give it credit for for a one two one drop that investigates, I guess. Is decent enough. I give you something to do. There's hang a backwalker in this deck, and obviously Avison being one of the better cards. I believe he's gonna go ahead. Oh, this Coco. Coco is a card. Black Green Aristocrats gets out of hand in this particular matchup. Uh, in this particular game. There's a Liliana. Is it going to flip? Wow, they are just going off the Coco, and that is a uh, pretty uh, crazy. Oh, Liliana flips. And yeah, there's so much value. Lily provides so much value for the green black aristocrat deck. It's really hard to come back from. So we're green white tokens. We have double hang a back walkers and inspector Drumucker's command in hand and enough to play Avison. I mean, he just needs, okay, there's that card that he needs. Cut bro, whoa, probably in the game. It's just South Gap. It just looks like a fun deck, green black aristocrats. Green white tokens, obviously that's the deck that won the Pro Tour, so it's not a bad deck either. Now we're going to game two. Uh, game two, and I will have a deck list in the description below, as well as Dan's notes on the games. So we have Inspector, which is probably our, the best hope we can for a turn one drop. Oath, um, there's Nissa. So yeah, the tokens deck is very, very powerful. Definitely a FNM deck. Actually, I'm playing some really janky uh, allies deck in FNM. I can't tell you why. It's just kind of what I'm playing. Uh, this is more along the lines of a deck that can actually win FNM instead of you know going 0 and 2 all the time. But we have uh, Oath. We have tokens. Nissa is doing work here. If the game goes long, I like the chances of green white against green black aristocrats mainly because of the planeswalkers coco on in response hitting one card aristocrats really needs to hit two cards off coco it can be devastating they hit like card and a sock outlet or card and Lily liliana pod let's see there's lily and yeah so they're probably they gotta find the sack outlet looks like oh we're gonna grab the we're going to grab the Lily with that mythic, uh, double blocking, triple blocking the, and we have, you know, that Nissa just does a tremendous amount of work uh, in this type of deck because it just gives you incremental advantage. It's pretty much over. Uh, we wiped some part of his board or made him block, and yeah. So we're going to the last game. So this is the last game where we are one one. We have Gideon. We, I, again, I'll have the notes to Dan's mats in the description below. Definitely would love him, love for him to produce more videos like this. And I think we're gonna get some more gameplay videos Sunday, I believe. I gotta check the video, but yeah, probably gonna get some more gameplay videos Sunday. I'm really, I'm bringing a new person onto my channel, which is super exciting. Oh, we have Abyssin, Nissa. So we got we can go Nissa and then into um Coco. Huh. Coco hits one card it looks like. Yeah, Coco hitting two cards is really devastating to us. Uh, one card we can handle it. It's a one for one exchange. Uh, this West Vale Abbey, one of the strongest cards. I a card that when I first came out, like I talked bad about it because it looked bad. But it's actually very good. Like, I take back all the bad stuff I said about that card. It fits perfectly in so much of the decks that are controlling the meta right now. We got Bl Blister Pod. We, I mean, pretty much we dominated the game. And Hanging Back Walker is really good. I do like that addition to the deck. I think it's a very good card for the token theme. So, he's trying to... I mean, he's really far away from his combo pieces. And we're just getting incremental advantage as Nissa ticks up, up. And up and up uh, and then we go for the win actually it's not a win but it's a 9 point 18 point life change and I think that's going to pretty much do it and another Westvale Abbey Westvale Abbey is a good card 
I take back all the bad stuff I said about it because it's very good.